Hey Bronco Fanatics, Keith with Rising Phoenix Bronco and this is my Dana 20 after rebuilding. And you know, happy with it overall, but you know, just you know, not a lot of I mean, yeah, it's pretty, but I I you know, still need to do something cuz I got a lot of exposed metal, got some scuff, so I've got some chips all happened while I was building it. Probably should have waited till it was done to be painted. But at the same time, I sat there and go, well, you know, not particularly, oh wow, I mean, that's going to be all inside, so who cares, but then, you know, the, the plate here, yeah, I'm sure with uh, enough O-rings and sealant and torquing, I can get that to lay flat, but just really nothing impressive. So I gave our friends over at Wild Horses a call, Justin set me up, uh, I'd love to say it's a gift package, but, you know, there's the invoice. Okay, um, so what did I order? I ordered the 8509 adjustable shift detents. These are the ones that go down inside here. Uh, this is the, the, the stock ones. Um, now, why did I want that? Well, this is what keeps your transfer case in gear and will help keep it from popping out of gear and these are not adjustable these are right you want it firm enough that it doesn't pop out of gear but you want it loose enough where you don't have to do a feat of strength to uh, what is it festivus feet of strength to get the damn thing into you know low four so i got these uh we'll be installing them and then really what i wanted that was kind of a hey why not type of deal was a little bling candy right uh you know Mm, which one's gonna look better when it's all said and done, right? Uh, get some nice screws. Ah, the retaining pin cover for the side over here, the idler shaft. Uh, that's gonna be back over here. And of course, man, that's pretty damn thick. I mean, what, half inch thick, probably? And just, uh, um, let's see how, well, maybe, maybe my metal motor, my metal plate is fine and it's my uh, transfer case that's crooked. Nope, that is f dead flat. And I gotta say, just letting it sit there, mighty, mighty sexier. I uh, got some more screws, that's obviously for that idler shaft cover, and got one, two, three, alright, so we have a ton of uh, bolts, obviously, so I think that's going to look good, so what I think I'm going to do is I have some uh, wrap, well, first of all, now that I'm thinking about it, no O-ring, so good thing my Wild Horses rebuild kit uh, gaskets. Uh, are here, so I've got that put in here. Okay, see it now. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, came out nice. Really liking it. That is in really nice. So, uh, obviously, Wild Horses dress up kit. Uh, paint was the VHT engine enamel. Uh, came out real nice. Uh, obviously transmission goes there. This one is a bit of a booger. I'm not sure I would go in after that one for that little bit of uh, bling there, but these three, absolutely. Yeah, that, 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 that looks good. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this uh, video useful.